Hi, my name is Jana Marin Brunnen. Welcome to the video blog for the set design for the play Yes Talk Notes at the End of an Orange Revolution. Um, behind me is the shed that I will be building the set in. Uh, the set's going to take about three and a half weeks. It's going to be made entirely out of recycled cardboard and I'm really excited to show you how I'm going to make that structural. Uh, so yeah, it's just just me and the shed and a lot of cardboard. Um, so let me show you the inside of the shed. Okay, so this is the interior of the shed I'll be working in. This is kind of the front door. It's this bright blue paint. You can't really tell um, because of the light that's coming through the windows, but it's all chipped. It's beautiful. I actually really love it. There's so much character to it. Uh, this is my workbench, work table, uh, space heater, cardboard. I am gonna zoom in on something here on my table. So as we go along with the set build, I am going to do a running total of um, boxes used per day and then kind of our total to date as well as the total square footage of cardboard used to build this set. So that's something that you'll see throughout the videos, which I, you know, just think it'll be interesting as we go along. Okay. So this is our set, this is our floor plan. Uh, this is seating here, seating here, and seating over here. So in theater, when you have seating on three sides, that's called a thrust stage. Uh, this is our set here. These are platforms on the back, these three squares here. This is our tallest platform, and then these two platforms are a step lower than this platform. This is steps here. This is a back wall that we're going to project onto that's going to be made out of cardboard boxes. Uh, this here, kind of starting from this line, this is a long stairwell that can actually be pulled in and out like an accordion. So uh, the actors can pull it forward, they can pull it kind of in a semicircle, they can pull it on a diagonal. It can almost go as far as 13 feet uh, when it's pulled out to its maximum. I'll show you a front view because I think that might just make things a little bit easier. So this is our front view. So this is the cardboard wall uh, that we are going to project onto. Now all of these boxes are going to be at varying levels. So when we project there's going to be some distortion in the projections uh, which will kind of give our show a little bit more of an interesting aesthetic. This is seating for the audience here here and then these are the, the risers and the platforms at their varying heights in the staircase in the center here. Okay, this is another front view. This is for the classroom. So this piece is actually gonna act like a pop-up. It's gonna pull right out of the set and kind of latch in. And then this one is a little bit of a different drawing. So this is also a front view, but what this is doing is this is giving me uh, like heights of the different people. So this is audience here. These are actors here. This is the side profile of the set. And then this is our front. So this is the cardboard box wall. This is our different levels and stairs, like in the last two drawings. Uh, this is an actor's height roughly when they're standing on the ground. This is kind of our first level, second level, and top highest level. And then that's how high the back wall goes. So yeah, so everything is going to be made out of cardboard, recycled cardboard, um, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, and I'm excited to show you how I'm going to build all this with the cardboard. And then this, uh, I'm actually I'm really excited for these pieces here. I think they'll be the most challenging of the set build, but also kind of the most interesting to show you how I do them and make them structural because the actors do actually walk on them and sit on them and lean on them. Like everything is... Uh, is meant to be manipulated and played with. Uh, the set itself is actually not a huge stage and so there's a lot of different levels for them to walk up and down. I just kind of wanted to make this set um, as versatile as possible in terms of heights and movement. So yeah, so, so that's the set. So there we go. We'll see as we go along for the build.